The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the TrendNet TEW811DRUAC1200 dual band wireless router. A great looking box that is wrapped in plastic. It has a picture of the product on the front as well has lots of features and specifications about it. Now let me open it up and let's see what's inside. It has environmentally friendly packaging. It comes with an RJ45 Category 5E network cable, power adapter, utility CD, user's guide, and the router, which is wrapped in plastic to prevent scratches. Now let's have a closer look at this product. Now this is a tiny wireless router, but it's very, very powerful. What I'll do is go through the specifications first, and then I'll have a closer look at it. This router supports all the new standards, 802.3, 802.3U, 802.3AB, 802.11, AC draft, two up to 867 megabits per second 802 11 and up to 300 megabits per second there are four gigabit lan ports one gigabit lan port and by the way lan stands for local area network and wan stands for wide area network there's a usb 2 port on the back which is fantastic because you can plug in any kind of storage device you can plug in a printer back there as well very handy to have now the european model and this is not it but that one has a power switch. And by the way, if you want to disconnect this one, which does not have a power switch, of course, you just yank the power adapter for you know 10 to 20 seconds if you want to clear the memory, or if you have any issues with it, and then plug it back in. It also comes with a reset button, as well as a WPS button and LEDs. I'll show you all that in just a minute. As for security, it comes with wireless encryption up to WPA, and I would recommend using WPA just to keep everything nice and secure. It comes with a NAT SPI firewall and lots of parental access controls. You can filter the MAC address, URL address, as well as filter IPs. Now let me quickly go through some of the special features, but what I'll do later on is connect it into the computer system and we'll go through the different screen options that you have with this router. It has QoS management, IP version 6 support, WDS support. You can do one guest network per band with internet isolation, DDNS support for dynns.com and no-ip.com as well as Samba FTP server support. Now this is a pretty compact router measuring in at 45 by 120 by 164 millimeters weighing in at 395 grams. And by the way power consumption on this is 18 watts. That's maximum power consumption and it comes with a three-year warranty as well as 24-7 technical support support and you can find out more information on that at trendnet.com slash support. Now let me plug it in so you can have a look at the LEDs on the front. At the top is a USB LED and this will light up when you have something connected into the USB port that's at the back, like for example a storage device or a printer. Here are the 5G and 2.4G LEDs as well as four wired LEDs, and these will light up when you have a wired connection plugged into the router at the back. At the very bottom, it's lit up here, is the power LED, and above that is the activity LED, so when you're accessing the internet, the router, that type of thing, this will light up. At the bottom are four rubber feet, a reset button, and an information sticker which shows the model name, serial number, MAC address, Wi-Fi name, SSID, Wi-Fi key, management login, as well as the username and password. At the back is the model name, USB port, WPS button. There are four gigabit LAN ports, a gigabit internet port, and here's where the power adapter gets connected. There's also ventilation at the top and the bottom of the router. Now the overall look, build quality, and fit and finish on this router is quite good. The outside kind of looks like it is brushed aluminum, but it isn't. It is plastic. All the outside side of this is plastic like most routers that are on the market. Notice that they have their logo on either 
side of the router. To access the router, open up any browser and in the address bar, type in tew-811dru and it will take you to this IP address, 192.168. Dot 10 dot one where the login screen is you enter the username and the password that's assigned to this router and then click on login and this will take you to the setup wizard where you can configure the internet connection as well as the wireless security very easily i'll click on the internet connection wizard here just click on next select which one applies to you click next and then apply and wait for the router to apply the changes. To set up the wireless security, first of all, select the wireless interface, either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. And by the way, if you want range, select 2.4 gigahertz. And if you want faster data transfer speeds, select 5 gigahertz. And then select next. Now, this is the SSID, so this will appear when you search for the router and you try and configure your other wireless devices. It's strongly recommended that you change the name, so you can change it to pretty much anything that you want. I'll just say test and go next. And next, you'll need to secure your wireless network. Best, better, and none. I would recommend selecting best. And then a wireless security password key eight to 24 characters next and then apply now let's go through the other options that you have within network there's lan settings lan settings ip version 6 settings qos and dhcp client list Within wireless 2.4 gigahertz, there's basic, advanced, security, guest network, which is very handy to have, WPS, and station list. And you've got the same for wireless 5 gigahertz within advanced, got DMZ, virtual server, routing, access control, ALG, special applications, gaming, Mac filters, you can set up a schedule and advanced network. Within administrator, you've got management. You can update the firmware, which I would recommend doing right away. Settings management, file sharing, you can set the date and the time. System log. Status. And finally, IP version 6 status. If you're in the market for an affordable dual band compact wireless router that's capable of 5 gigahertz wireless AC at up to 867 megabits per second, as well, this router does 2.4 gigahertz wireless N up to 300 megabits per second. Also, the range on this, of course, will vary. It depends on where you have the router and where you have the other things, of course, that you're connecting it to. But range on this is really good. If it's upstairs in your home, you should be able to reach outside of your home into your backyard on the fridges of your property, no problem whatsoever. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.